Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I am Kumal Kapoor Shekhawat and I hope you all are doing good. I create videos on how to do econometric analysis and data analysis using various softwares namely eViews, SPSS, Stata and R. So in this video, I am going to discuss how to perform the wall test of coefficient diagnostic in eViews. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe the channel and hit the like button. So let's get started. So to perform the wall test, you need to first import your data file. And you can see over here, these are all my variables. The time period is from 1990 to 2018. And there are total 145 observations in my data set. Now why wall test is used? Ball test is performed to find out if explanatory variables in a model are significant or not. If a variable is significant, then it adds value to the model. But if the variables that add nothing to the model, that variable can be deleted without affecting the model. Okay, so in that case, ball test can be performed to find out whether a variable is significant or not. So this test is basically used for coefficients diagnostic, okay? So to run or perform the ball test, you need to first run a simple regression. So for that, you need to first select all your concerned variables. First, your dependent variable followed by all the independent variables, okay? So once you have selected all the concerned variables, you need to open these variables as equation. So you can see over here, the first one is the dependent variable and rest others are the independent variables and see here is for the constant, okay? And to run a simple least square model, you just need to click on okay. So these are the results for the regression model. Now, to perform the wall test, you need to go to view, then click on coefficients diagnostic, and then here select the vault coefficient restrictions. Okay. Uh, so, to perform the wall test, uh, you can see uh, these are all the variables in my model. Okay. So, here, this, these variables are referred in sequence. For example, the first variable EC is read as coefficient 1. Then FDI is coefficient 2. Population is coefficient 3. TO is coefficient 4 and so on. Right? So these coefficients are referred in sequence like C1, C2, C3, C4 and so on. Okay, so you need to mention in this dialog box that particular coefficient for which you want to test. So suppose I want to test whether this variable population is significant or not in this regression model. So the population is coefficient third in my data uh, results. Okay, AC is C1, FDI is C2 and POP is C3. And if I want to check whether this variable is significant or not, then this is C3, okay? So you need to write over here C3, okay? And equal to zero. So we are testing whether the coefficient three is significant or not. Now the null hypothesis in case of all test is that the value of the parameter is zero, okay? Against the alternative hypothesis. So if we click on OK, so these are the results for this third coefficient C3. And you can see over here, the null hypothesis is that the coefficient value or the parameter is zero, right? Against the alternative that it is not equal to zero. Now, how do we check whether the coefficient is significant or not? So if this probability value of F statistics or chi-square if this probability value is less than 5% level of significance, so these probability values are less than 0 0.05, right? So this means that we are rejecting the null hypothesis. That is, the coefficient is not equal to 0 
it means that this coefficient is significant in the model and it adds value to the model so this coefficient third which was population in my data set is a significant variable in the model okay similarly you can test this ball test of coefficient diagnostic for any of your variable in your data set moreover you can also test coefficient diagnostic test for all your variables together for example for that you need to go to again view then coefficients diagnostic and ball coefficient restrictions okay now if you want to check for all your variables so you need to write over here c1 right is equal to 0 then you need to put a comma and you need to write for rest of the variables okay again c2 is equal to 0 and c3 is equal to 0 okay so suppose you want to test the ball test of coefficients diagnostic for the first three coefficients okay so you need to write like this and then click ok so you can see the results for the null hypothesis states that the coefficient 1 coefficient 2 and coefficient 3 are equal to 0 against the alternative that these coefficients are not equal to 0 so the probability value is less than 5% level of significance it means we are rejecting the null hypothesis and these three coefficients are not equal to zero and these are significant variables in the model okay so this is how you can perform the ball test of coefficients diagnostic for your coefficients in your data set okay so i hope you like the video please click on the subscribe button and thanks for watching have a good day